found her brother. She found the container wrapped in a newspaper, stuffed in a duffel bag with hockey pads and seven grand and rubber bands. But we didn't speak of the service, but later a message from a number that wasn't familiar said, hey, it's Charlie's sister. Would you do me a favor? There's unfinished business. It's roughly the size of a baseball. So I wasn't sure, but yeah, I could probably call someone. I knew this kid from my dorm when I went to school in Wisconsin. My two semesters were a total disaster, and he was part of the problem. We hadn't talked in forever. But waiting for when Echo picked up on the first ring, I explained the situation. He said he'd be interested. We'd have to come to him. We said lunchtime on Wednesday, a Mexican restaurant a mile north of Midway. He worked at his father's shipping company out west of the city. But right now I'm not working. She said we could split it. She just wants to be finished, not even tempted. But it's so goddamn sad in her house right now. He's still hearing everything. She just needs a break from it. So she wants to come with. We left really early. Went from St. Paul to Cicero and Chevrolet that didn't have any radio. And a boombox in the back seat, but it was running out of batteries. Played 1999 into Led Zeppelin 3. When the tape took a wobbly, she still sang the harmonies. Transaction was easy. My buddy looked similar, just a little bit heavier. And counting the money in front of him seems silly. This isn't the movies, man. So Wayne got in his car, drove off into the sunset, took a left on the Cermak. She turned to me and she said, Saint Paul and she was sobbing. 